Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I decided to tackle my foyer. It's been quite a mess for the last two weeks and just recently I almost fell because of the mess. So I decided today's the day and why not make a video of it. Um, as I was saying in my previous video, we live in an older home, 85 years old, that we're renting. It's a two family house and so it's, it's fairly big, you know, but um, we do have a foyer and it's quite messy and living in Massachusetts, the weather here is starting to get warm, but we still have like winter jackets out and I just put away the boots, the mittens, the scarves, you know, because I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to snow anymore, but um, yeah, it's just a really mess. So I decided, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is our foyer. It's fairly small. Um, the two bins right here, this one and that one, we use those for their backpacks and shoes. Um, over here, we use, that was a docking station, but it's not working. So we're going to, I'm probably going to remove um, this uh, blue thing right here and this mail holder. Uh, uh, this was um, a, a chalkboard calendar that didn't work out. So, but we do plan on painting this room. Um, eventually so but as you can see it's just like cluttered with uh, the package I got there um, I got uh, that's actually a new steam cleaner which I need to open put it together and put away but as you can see there's coats sneakers shoes toys recycle bags an air conditioner uh, ottoman that I need to give away um, two chairs that need to be put away trash bag full of giveaway stuff so we're gonna tackle this get it cleaned and I'll show you the end result Okay, so here's the finished results. It looks really nice. It's clean, it's organized, everything's where it's supposed to be. And as you can see, I took down the chore boards, but the floor is nice and clean. <laughs> took the stuff that got given away, chairs there, but it looks really good. Okay, so I am done and I love the way it looks. It looks really nice and clean and organized. Everything has a home. Um, I'm really satisfied with it. Um, I just have three tips for you. Tip number one is if you are going to donate something, you have the bag ready to go or the furniture ready, ready to go. I cannot stress this enough. Immediately put it in your car. It will save you so much time because I'm like, back in the day, I was notorious for having bags of clothes, whatever, just ready to go at the front door, ready to go. And I was like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Day one passed, day two passed, and I know it was two weeks later and I still haven't done it. If you put it in your car immediately, then when you go to a donation center to donate, like Salvation Army or Goodwill, you'll have it with you. If you haven't just come across one, you're shopping, you'll have it with you. And you don't have to think, oh man, I wish I had the bag. I should have brought the bag. But if you put it in your car, it's there. Um, tip number two is I love Pinterest. Whoever came up with Pinterest, it was great. It was a genius idea. But I know realistically, my house would never look like those pictures on Pinterest. Um, I have four children. Their ages are five, seven, nine, eleven, and they're messy. No, most sometimes. <laughs> but realistically, my house would never look like that, you know. And I'm messy. My husband's messy, you know. And so unless you are single or um, it's just you and a significant other, or maybe you trained your children to be that clean, you know, realistically, I just know for me personally, my house will never look like Pinterest. It may look like that like the first couple of hours, but not all the time. So what I'm saying is just be happy with what you have. Be, you know, be thankful for what you have, you know. And like for me in my house, storage is an issue, so... As you saw in the video, after I finished cleaning, you may have noticed that the air conditioner is still on the floor. It works for us because we have nowhere else to put it. So we keep it there. But just do what works best for you and just be happy. It doesn't have to be like what you see um, on Pinterest or YouTube or Instagram, whatever social media you may use. But just be, you know, just be thankful for what you got, you know. Just work, you know, do you, do what works for you and your family. And tip number three well, I don't know if it's a tip, but I know somebody is going to comment <laughs> and say that clock is huge for that small little space. And there's a reason why I have it that big. 
some kids today do not know how to tell time on an analog clock. They know how to do digital because the numbers are there, they just have to say it. But if you give if you give kids today an analog watch or a clock, they don't they can't tell time. So I keep it up there and I keep it that big for my children so they can learn. There's no excuse for my kids saying I can't see it or the numbers are too small. It clearly says it, you know. So um, I put it up there for my children. That's why I have it so big. I have another one in my kitchen, um, so because I want my children to know how to do how to read an analog clock versus a digital. So. Um, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, you can comment, subscribe, give a thumbs up if you like it. And until we see each other again, have a blessed day.